Hi, I'm Doug Williams with Farpoint. Today I'm going to show you about focus mass. This video will show you how to select the proper focus mass for your telescope and how to mount that focus mask on your telescope. At the end of the video, there are links to other videos that show you how to actually use a focus mask. A focus mask is used to check and adjust the focus of your telescope when you have a camera attached. High-end equipment often includes a motorized focuser and software to control the focuser. For the rest of us, there is no good way to focus your telescope once you attach a camera. A focus mask, either the Batnoff or Carey designs, is a good way to overcome this problem. You can be positive that you have the best possible focus for your telescope. A focus mask can also be of use to non-photographers. For visual only users, a focus mask can eliminate the guesswork when trying to focus during poor seeing conditions. It is especially nice for planetary use. You can focus using the mask and then sit back and wait for that moment of good seeing. That way you are not wasting that magic moment fiddling with the focuser. A focus mask is also helpful when focusing an unsteady mount because you can focus in small iterations and be confident that you are at the correct focus. Then let go of that focus knob, take off the mask, and observe. Okay, this is a batten off mask. And this is a carry mask. They have slightly different cutouts and work in slightly different ways, although they both do your focusing for you. So which way should you orient them? Well, on the one hand, it doesn't really matter. If you mount them up there, they're going to work and the image will project still. On the other hand, if you always mount them the same way, you'll get skilled in deciding whether you're inside or outside of focus. So in the case of this carry mask here, I would always run this line north-south, up-down. And it does matter in the case of the carry mask whether you flip it this way or that way because these angles are a little bit different on left and right. So just pick a way and always use it either the mate side out or the logo side out. In the case of the bat knot mask, there's a central arrow point. And again, you, you want to pick which way you want to do it. I, I suggest going the arrow pointing south or, or orienting it north-south in always the same way. In the case of the bat knot mask, it's not going to matter whether you flip it this way or not. It's going to be the same. So again, you just have to go to our video that shows how to use the, the focus mask, the bat knot, and the carry, and decide which image, star image, focusing image you prefer. And of course, when Halloween runs around, we have our special edition bat knot mask. Way cool, huh? And it actually works. After you decide between a bat knot or a carry mask, your task is to select the proper model of mask for your telescope. Both bat knot and carry masks come in two different fit types. If you have a Celestron or Mead Schmidt Casperian telescope, Mac, Schmidt, Newtonian, or the like, select the specific mask is made to slip over the secondary mirror housing of your scope. Let's take a look at this Celestron 11 for example. We have two different models for the Les 11. This is for with Hyperstar and you notice it has a bigger hole in the back than this mask which is for the regular 11 like this one here. So we want to use this mask. Part number FP412. To put it on all you do is orient it the way you want slide it right over the secondary housing. It just goes in right like that. Now you might worry about your corrector plate, but don't, because if you look carefully you'll see that it rests against the secondary mirror housing there, and it rests against the corrector rim right there. So there's no problem with it touching your corrector plate. It comes off just that easy. All the Mead and Celestron SCTs work basically the same way in that regard. If you have a refractor type scope or some other type scope for which there is no specific model of focus mass, you can get one of our adjustable masks. These masks are adjustable to fit a number of OTA sizes. Just measure the outside diameter of your scope right at the dew shield. So this one's about four and a quarter. In the case of this Orion here, I get it's about 4.5. 
4 inches. Right now they come in size small, which fits 2.5 to 4.5 inches in diameter at the OTA. Small medium fits 3.5 inches to 6.5 inches. Medium fits 5.5 to 8.5. Large fits 6.5 to 9.5. And larger fits 8.5 to 10.5. Select the size that fits the range that includes your dew shield size. In some cases, you'll be able to select from more than one size. In the case of this scope, I could have fit either one of these sizes here. This is how it comes packaged up. When you open it up, you'll have the mask inside and these three screws. And the mask should already have these three grommets in it. One of them fell off, just stick them back in. So push the screws in. And slide the grommets around until they fit your scope. And just rest on there just like that. So I'd want to orient this the way I like. Which for batting off is like that. And there you go. In this case, again, I could have chose either of two sizes, and I chose the smaller one. Just as a note, if you're using a larger mass that could fit in a number of different places, the centering isn't critical at all. So you, you can be up to an inch off and it's not going to make any difference. So just get it on there and don't worry too much about getting the perfect collimation center.